Hello everybody, this is Shadigo and as you notice I am actually on my 360 dashboard thingy but I'm going to be playing an Xbox game which is obviously though also you can see my gamer tag there eh. I don't really go on Xbox Live Gold that much anyway but that's just me what I'm doing let's play Jet Set Radio Future I I really do like the uh, Jet Set Radio games. I'd play the first one only my Dreamcast is broken. And I love the music, I do. It's like one of, one of my favourite to soundtracks in a game next to like probably one of the Sonic games. Who nearly always have decent really awesome soundtracks. And yes, graffiti is art, but graffiti is out of Van Dusen's crime. Don't try this at home. If you do, you're obviously stupid. Or you're not playing this game. Oh, this is a sequel to the Dreamcast version. Like I said, I would love to play, it, to play that before I did this one. But... It's, uh, yeah. I would love to play that one, but the Dreamcast is broke, so I can't do it. Uh, I think most of this thing is probably just going to be intro introduction stuff. Uh, the buttons in this is pretty simple. You use the um, control stick to move. The A button is jump. I believe right trigger is, yeah, right trigger is spray paint, left trigger is... Uh, left trigger, left trigger, left trigger, yeah, the left trigger is the camera, I believe. And X and Y are for doing tricks. That just seems to fail spectacularly out. Uh, where's gum? No, gum's over there, place around. Um, well, she, there she is. She's down at the pinball table. Well, yeah, this is basically the tutorial stuff. Um, <coughs> yeah, you got to go through this. Yes, I don't do that. Grind. Basically, you find a wire or just about anything. Uh, jump on it. Grind. Uh, go do this little longer than I should have done. And you want to really you can press X and you can do other tricks. Usually, you jump off a rail, you will do an aerial trick. And you can chain everything, and I don't know why I'm kind of sucking, but yeah, the uh, gums telling you about graffiti, but it's a uh, you'll see spray cans all over the place, uh, collect them and spray on walls and other things. And when you get 10, you can actually do a jet boost by pressing the B button. But that costs 10 things. Oh, I need to. If you turn it creative, you see these little circle marks here. You press the right trigger. There you go, you spray it. Depending on the size of the thing. You can. Well, no. Depending on the um, <coughs> size of it, is how many spray cans you need to actually complete the picture. Well, yeah, that's the basics done, really.
pretty easily enough. And yeah, after this, we talk to this robot guy, which you'll sh you'll see in a minute. He'll do he'll do stuff like you like saving tutorials. I'm not gonna go through the rest of the tutorials because I know what I'm doing. I think the only other tutorial you have to do is later on involving car pipes, but that's all I'm gonna spoil for you. I noticed the way he moves, uh, just to call him something like that. I'm not a noob. But basically jet set, the actual jet set radio in this game is actually a pirate radio station. And sometimes he tells you where to go next, which is basically what he's saying. And they also play some awesome sounds. Anyway, cutscene. I'm gonna shut up. I might just see you next time in the next video, so maybe ciao. Yeah, this is DJ Professor K, baby. The master of mayhem, you know what I'm saying? Bring you another Tokyo Underground Pirate Radio broadcast from Jet Set Radio. I'm gonna bust into your head through your cute little ears and blow your mind with my sexy voice and out of sight sound. Those of you cloning knows, please, should keep those tissues and the suffer. Tokyo is being oppressed by the Rokaku Group, a mega enterprise headed by Rokaku Goji. Rokaku is using his money and influence to mess with everything, industry, society, and even our culture. And he's even got his eyes set on City Hall. Lately, Rokaku's been shaking down the government, passing that Rokaku law crap, even buying off the police department. This law ain't nothing but garbage. It's just some selfish little punks way of trying to show you the big man. Rokaku and his gang are trying to stomp out our culture left and right. They don't give a rip about our rights. All they care about is profit. And some spineless fools have already become flunkies in their diabolical scheme. You better believe they're listening on this broadcast. But even in all this, there's a group of young kids who can tear on the street. I'm talking about the root. These kids are set up in Burry, Tokyo, and the now they're all wrapped up in their own little territorial tug of war. The hottest team at the moment is the Gigi. There's Yo-Yo, a guy who blow your mind with silver tongue. And Gum, a real cool lady who leaves a trail of broken hearts wherever she goes. And let's not forget their leader, a self-styled genius that goes by the name of Quan. These three ain't regarding variety of street punks. You know what I'm saying? Lately, Tokyo's been on one bad trip. The attack on the record store in Chuo Street, Prowlers in Dogenzaka Hill, low lights spreading vicious rumors, the mysterious blackout on 99th Street. And who should be following them around but the Rokaku Group's watchdog, the Rokaku Police. With the Rokaku Expo just around the corner, the crackdown, they're only getting tighter. My heart ain't pounded like this since, since my first date. I was so nervous, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to wear my underwear, baby. This ain't the time to be sitting around sipping afternoon tea. Game's gonna start soon, and y'all gonna be the one making the play. Okay, so that's basically the story in a nutshell. Uh, we're gonna be starting that in the next part, as well as explaining some of the stuff in the garage. I'll see you later, guys. Ciao.